In the last video, I ended up with a very fast copy and paste thing without explaining anything or almost anything, um, almost nothing. And just uh, let's have a view of uh, the things. Uh, we, the variance of uh, x plus y, um, as we said before, can express by via this. Um, uh, expressions. This expression always means leads to the variance of xi, and nothing else happens here. We, we, we do the expected value thing and put it like that. Then we rearrange that. We just uh, uh, we can do it inside the parentheses. We, the mu x thing we put to the x thing, and the mu y thing we put to the y thing. It's uh, is done here. Uh, when we uh, do the square thing, uh, and um, the result is uh, as you can see it. And then again we do uh, uh, what we proved uh, a little bit here. This blue thing, the expected value of a sum is the uh, sum of the expected values and vice versa. And nothing else happens here. And if you, and if you do that, expected value here, expected value here, expected value here, then you see, aha, uh -huh, if you do it here, you have the definition of the variance x, you have the definition of variance y, and do it, uh, you have uh, this expression. And this expression here is the covariance. And what that is, what it means, and uh, it's just uh, another video again. Uh, only thing I uh, to hint is if the, the x and y are independent, then this this expression or or, or not correlated, correlated. Can you say that? Yeah. And then this, this uh, thing is zero. So, which is uh, the case in, in our case. So we let we left with variance of x plus variance of y is our variance of x and y. So, uh, maybe I have to do this just in, in, in another video to explain it, uh, uh, but uh, the, <laughs> the thing of this video series is uh, to explain, again, this whole long way to explain with n minus 1 and not uh, to the whole thing of statistics. So, okay. We are here, and uh, we did it because we, had, uh, we changed from this expression to that expression. That was the whole idea, that we can say, okay, the variance uh, of a sum of uh, something is the same as the sum of the variance of the something. And this was the so-so uh, proof of, of this. Nothing exciting, uh, exciting happens here, just uh, to, to explain all the things It's not part of this video. So, uh, what do we have here? Now we have the variance of uh, uh, xi, and uh, we sum it up, and uh, uh, we had that uh, before. Uh, to, uh, we had it here. Where was it? Here. To sum up variances, and we summed it up. There's a constant here, and, and we sum, sum up a constant n times, you have n times the constant. So, we can the same, do the same thing as we did before. Uh, not so far. Uh, I continue with the yellow thing. Here, the yellow thing. It's a little bit chaos here, but we, we will get to the point. So, we sum up and the, the, the expression change to n squared times n times the variance of xi. The n and the square cancel out. So, we left the this n over 1 over n variance of x i. To make things uh, to look a little bit better, we, uh, I write now the, the letter for variance 1 over n sig uh, sigma, this is sine sigma squared, and uh, this is one expression, this is the whole way from there and 
we can re uh, we can rewrite this expression we have here the uh, n times variance uh, uh, of xi in exactly the same way so on what we got we've left with we cleared up everything until here we have n times the variance of xi n times the variance of xi we do it in yellow again uh, n times the variance of xi and we had a minus sign here, a minus sign and n times this thing n times this thing here so minus n times this thing over here and the ends here cancel out and we left the n times sigma squared minus sigma squared so we can factor out the, the sigma so we have sigma n minus 1 sigma squared and this, all thi this whole thing is or should be equal to where was it where we started Oh, and because where we started we are here and the, the whole thing we did we started e of s squared oh, we take this with us <laughs> e of s squared is equal to 1 over n minus 1 times this expression and again 1 over uh, n minus 1 times this expression and again, uh, it's not so easy. This expression here, a little bit chaos here. I hope you are not so confused. Just uh, I just forget this um, one over n minus one thing. That's just what I forget forgot. And now I remembered, and uh, nothing exciting happened. So we take this expression right down to where it belongs and it belongs there and we did the whole other thing we did in inside the parentheses and and uh, now we can uh, move uh, move on we see here we have a multiplication here and we see aha uh -huh, multiplication 1 over n minus 1 times sigma squared times n minus 1 the n minus 1 cancels out and we left with the expected value of our sample variance is sigma squared and that is our result we are done uh, uh, we have what we want we wanted in, in, as we started uh, almost an hour ago um, to prove that uh, this is unbiased, uh, and uh, uh, and uh, yeah, how can we say it in verbally? This is uh, the expression, the formula we need to come to uh, results when we have have to make a, a, a next uh, to a, a next an, a sample of a population value. This is the population value here, or the population. And this is the sample in yellow and if you take a sample and make uh, calculations with it we need this formula to make uh, to have an unbiased formula uh, for the uh, population mean that is the whole thing we have done this to have a good or, or unbiased um, formula for the population mean other a good guess, the best guess we can make, and for the best guess we can make, we have to use this n minus one thing <coughs> as sorry denominator. And this was a lot of work, all the way down, literally down to this expression uh, we have just uh, proved. T proved. See you next time.